Hello Curiosity, it's wonderful to see you and what a fantastic journey you had and you landed on Mars on the 6th of August. Yes, it's 6th of August in the UK at 5.32 and it was so exciting. Well, we're going to do some computer programming and this is computer programming for age four and upwards. So let's get started. Click load world. Click load world. And the world I want to load is called Terrain B. Click on lessons. Don't worry, I will go very slow so we can all do it together. Click on lessons and with the arrow keys on your keyboard just press the right arrow key until we come to terrain B. You can also use these keys here, these arrows here. You can click on them with your mouse or use the arrow keys on your keyboard. And then I want you to click Terrain B and click Play. Don't worry, your teacher can pause the video at any time. Now the first thing we're going to do, can you see Mars? Can you see the surface of Mars? We want to put Curiosity on Mars. You need to hit or press the escape key. It's at the top left of your keyboard. You then, with your left mouse, click the object tool. If you've got a keypad, use the left button and click on the terrain. Look at the pie menu and there is Rover. Click on Rover. There he is. You know that Rover is selected because these yellow bars are here on the object tool. Hover your mouse, don't click on Rover, but hover your mouse over Rover and you'll see some coloured buttons above. We're going to change Rover to silver, a silvery grey. Rover is now silver. You can see the button is selected. And we're going to change Rover's size. Right click on Rover this time. And don't worry that you can't read. But you can count one, two, three, four, five, change size and left click. And here is a slider bar. Slide it along and you can see curiosity growing. And just click anywhere on the screen. The next thing we want to do is to make curiosity move. We have to tell him in computer programming what to do. You right click on curiosity, go to program, this is the one at the very top, then left click. You are going to tell curiosity what to do. When? Click on the plus sign. and you can see a picture of a keyboard here. Click the keyboard. So when we touch the keyboard or press the keyboard, but which keys? There's a lot of keys. Click the plus sign again and at the very top is the word arrows but you can see a picture of the arrows. Click arrows so when you touch the keyboard or press the keyboard, the arrow keys, Rover is going to do something. Click the plus and Rover 
is going to move. When you touch the keyboard, the arrow keys, Rover, Curiosity Rover, will move. Let's see if it happens. Click the Escape button at the top left hand corner. And now we're going to click Play. Here's the Play sign. Click Play. Now use your arrow keys to move Rover around. Fantastic. Can you see? Move the arrow keys. Wonderful. Press Escape. This brings us back into edit mode. This time we're going to add two rocks. If we're going to add an object, you click the object tool. I see there's the yellow bars. Click on the terrain. We're going to add some rocks. Now there's different types of rocks and the rock we're going to add is unknown and can you see that's sedimentary rock it's got layers and it's got a question mark click on that there's the rock and that says unknown sedimentary rock let's make it a bit bigger right click change size just like you did with curiosity Move the slider and the rock is now bigger. Let's add another rock. It's selected look, so click anywhere on the terrain. Click rock and we want to add unknown rock with a question mark and that's an unknown igneous rock. It's all over there. Let's make it a bit bigger. Right click, change size, move the slider. You have now added two rocks onto your terrain. Press the play button which plays the game and use your arrow keys so Curiosity can come and have a look at these rocks. Curiosity, be careful. Have a look at your other rock that you've put there. Do be careful. You've got to analyse these rocks. Press escape. Fantastic. We have added Curiosity Rover onto the terrain and two rocks. We need to now save this work. Can you see the house? Click on the house. Then you will click Save My World. Save My World. And if you click here and use the backspace, you can put your name. And what you have done, you have made curiosity and two. Save.